Uh, good morning, my name is Luis Romero, and this is my persuasive speech for Broward College. Uh, today we're going to be talking about guns in schools, and this is my audience. This is the audience. Please. And me. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's imagine that right now, this second, somebody walks through this room and is an armed gunman and starts unloading shots into this crowd. I want to talk to you guys today about guns in schools. Guns in schools and some of the alternatives to preventing school shootings and mass shootings. And in the end, you will agree that arming our school staff is not a pr uh, productive alternative to the solution of mass shootings. School shootings are becoming a common reoccurrence. And in South Florida specifically, we experienced one just over a year ago. Research shows that in our own backyard, 17 people were killed and 17 were injured during the MSD school shooting. None can deny that school shootings are a tragedy and a growing problem, but armed guards and armed teachers is not the answer. In Maryland, there is a company that will charge you $100 for the training. The cost then would be about $71.8 million for all of our teachers. Combat readiness or active shooter training will require training sessions and drills that cost in the range of 718 million. This is uh, a USA wide statistic and it comes from the Washington Post, uh, an article by Philip Bump. The financial cost of arming school professionals comes with a great expense to state and local administrations. Training school officials to protect our children will be a daunting and expensive undertaking. After hearing the staggering numbers of training expenses, let's think about where all of the weapons would come from, and more expensively, who would pay for them. The cost of the weapons in total would be over $1 billion for the USA wide. This plan places extreme financial burden on the federal and state government. Not to mention the insurance premium we would have to provide to our newly trained school staff that is, even if insurers would insure, like write these policies for the schools that w are permitting guns. One major insurer has already stated that they would not do business with schools that permit guns. School budgets are already stretched very thin and any funds that are diverted from educating our future workforce will be a detrimental effect on our society. Now let's talk about some of the opposing views. Allowing our educators to act as armed guards is no guarantee to prevent the senseless act of a school shooting. If someone is determined to commit an atrocity, such as Columbine, teachers with weapons or even the police will not deter them. In fact, there were two law enforcement officers present at Columbine High School during the assault by Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold that left 15 dead and many more wounded. There are also reports of officers on the scene when the shots began in Parkland during the MSD school shooting. This is another direct quote from the Washington Post and an article titled, Law Enforcement Didn't Stop Columbine. And what about the mentally ill? Do you think that a mentally insane person would stop their attack just because a teacher is carrying a weapon? They will not. One person with a plan of harming others is all it takes, even if teachers are carrying firepower. In fact, if it is common knowledge that a teacher is carrying a firearm, all that person would have to do is eliminate the teacher first. And would our teachers even want to carry this responsibility? Our educators are not security guards and not policemen by any means, and they should not be asked to be. Teachers are not paid enough for the job that they perform as it is. And if they were armed, essentially they would be performing two jobs and they would, only be, be, they would only be getting paid for one. In general, teachers don't want guns in school, period. Now, what can we do? Is there a definitive solution? There is not a def definitive solution, but I suggest enforce more strict gun laws. Let me begin by settling all pro Second Amendment people and guns enthusiasts, and I understand that there is a certain satisfaction that comes from shooting. It is a recognized sport, but the simple fact is that guns are too easily obtained, especially in South Florida. The idea, not to take away, the, the idea is not to take away all guns, but enforce how easily they are obtained and focus on the mental health and well-being of the owner. I suggest the approval 
and renewal of gun permits should be enforced and be subject to more strict testing and frequent testing. Enforce background tech checks, drug tests, mental health tests, and physical ability tests. Guns are dangerous, and they have their purpose and should be in the hands of those responsible to use it, because with great power comes great responsibility. In conclusion, having armed teachers on the school premises will not solve the problem of gun violence in our educational system. The lack of finances is a major deterrence from this idea and the added workload to our educators. There is not any way to guarantee school shootings will not happen, but enforcing more strict gun laws might be the beginning. And there shouldn't be much concern to the gun owners if they are using the guns for the intended purpose, uh, such as hobby or home protection. The goal is to keep them in use for the intended purpose and place them only in the hands of those responsible and aware of their capability. From the beginning of this speech, it has been over six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes is all the time that was needed for a gunman to take 17 people away from their families on February 14, 2018, during the MSD school shooting. Six minutes. I think it's time to reform our gun control policies. Thank you. Good job, guys. Good job.